Alright Army, so the video from yesterday cracked over a thousand thumbs up and I promise as soon as we do that, we're going to go ahead and upload the Jordan 1 video. Let me know in the comment section below if you hit the biohacks on the Flex app. Flex app was tripping on Foot Locker. Unfortunately, a lot of people are probably going to take L's because of the app tripping. So if you did get your pair on the Flex app or Hibis app or anything of that nature, let your boy know. Comment that you got them in the comment section below. Flood the comment section with your favorite Air Jordan one that you are going to see from this video or from what you see right now. I know that we didn't show a couple Air Jordan ones like the women's satin Jordan ones didn't get shown in a video um, what else we got over here? The top threes. I didn't pull out the top threes. So it's some Jordans that I didn't show. Of course, Chicago's. Y'all know it's my favorite OG colorway. But, you know, enjoy the video. Let me know how you like it in the comment section below. Comment your favorite Jordan 1 that you seen in the video. And also let me know if you did grab the Air Jordan 1 Biohacks off one of the apps. Let's get it. What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. Unbreakable's son, father. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kick Show, as you guys can see. I've been holding some gems for y'all. Now, uh, eventually, your boy's gonna move a lot of the stuff out the vault, but before I start moving stuff out the vault, I gotta show y'all what's all in the vault for every new member of the Unbreakable Army. So I got a special guest right here. And what I mean by special, I'm going to let him introduce himself. What's up, Unbreakable Army? I'm Mr. Unbreakable's father-in-law, and here, we're here today to check out the vault, specifically the Jordan 1s, which is my favorite silhouette. So since Jordan 1s is your favorite silhouette, like back in the day, was your first Air Jordan a pair of Jordan 1s, or did you start out with like different numbers? Actually, my first pair of Jordans was the... Jordan 3. Which one? The true blue. Go ahead and grab them. Go ahead and grab them so they can see what it is. Now this right here, back in my day. <laughs> but yeah, I love this shoe right here. But right now, I'm a Jordan 1 guy. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, so Armour, so we about to go ahead and check out all of the Jordan 1s that I got currently in the vault. As you guys see, my father-in-law already said he transformed into an Air Jordan 1 lover. So, as you can see on feet, what you got rocking on feet today? Son-in-law, Mr. Unbreakable, was lucky enough to bless me with these clay greens. And every time I go out, people like, man, I wanted those. Those are <laughs> nice. And I'd be like, man, my son-in-law looked out for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is what we're going to do. I know, like I said, you're an Air Jordan 1 man. So, we about to go through the Air Jordan 1s that we have in a vault. And we're going to see, you know, what you're rocking with, what you're not rocking with. If you could cop them, you know what I'm saying, would you grab them? And, of course, since you love Jordan 1s, y'all see what I got on feet. You know, I got the Jordan 1 Travis Scott's on feet to go with the Cactus Jack, the original Cactus Jack right here. So, let's go ahead and start with the first row of Air Jordan 1s that we got over here. So... Or, I mean, we can start right here. What, where you want to start? You want to start right here and trans over that way, or you want to start right there and go this way? We can start on this side. We can start on this side. So, down here, let's see what we got right here. What you think about the Jordan 1 snake skins? Oh, yeah. These satins, these satins are slick. I like this snake on there. I like the, I just like the colorway, the red, the black, and the white. This is a beautiful shoe. That OG, it's that OG vibe. It gives you that OG vibe like the Air Jordan 1, you know, Black Toes or the Air Jordan 1 Amish the Homes. I know you said you got a pair of Amish the Homes too, right? Oh yeah, thanks to my son at work. <laughs> I got a pair of the Amish the Homes. So when it comes to like the Air Jordan 1 colorways, are you more of the traditional red, white, and black? Or do you like to go with, you know, some crazy like a pair of Nigel Sylvester's or like a pair of the ochre yellows or something like that? Like what's your style when it comes to retro ones? Well, you know, I like to get my gear on. So I like to have my shoes match my fit. Okay. So I'm not into all the real crazy colors. But I like the kind of basic colors. Like I say, they easy to match up with a nice little outfit. 
and all ones pretty much you can't lose. They go with pretty much everything. You said basically, you know, you're not into like all the flashy ones. So, you know, out of everything in the vault, like what's some that you would pick up like, man, I need those or some that you missed out on? Oh, man. As you always say, I got to have those. One day. The ochre yellows. One day I'm gonna have my hands on these. These are sweet. Now these was a overseas exclusive. Now these and the track reds. Both of these came in that you know pack with the Jordan, the clay greens that you got on, and it came with the blue moon. So this was the best hands in the game pack right here. I'll call it the Infinity Stone pack. So I know you got these. You yes, got indeed. the clay greens on foot. So you need the other two to finish yep. off the collection. And I'll be in the I'll be in the game. I'll be in the game. <laughs> I also like this sand collection. I wish I can get my hands on a pair. At first I wasn't feeling them, but they kind of grew on me. And man, you don't see these all the time. Now one thing about the satin is that I will say is that the satins have definitely gone up in price. Yeah. Like the the men joints, so we got the Jordan 1 satin, the bread colorway, we got the Jordan 1 satin, royal colorway, and then we got the Laley Maze. If memory is right, the Laley Maze is probably like, give or take, maybe like $600 right now, but these are on the verge of two grand right now. Between the Royals, <laughs> which one? The Royals is probably two grand, and the Breads are probably like $2,500, probably close to $3,000. So you that size nine. So being that size oh, yeah. now, you oh, already yeah. know what time it is when it comes to, you know, smaller Air Jordan 1s. Man, it, <laughs> as <laughs> I say, made. Jordan 1s can go with an outfit. This would be perfect if I stepped out with this, to go with this outfit. Man, oh man. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, so we're going to talk about some Jordan 1 unions or just some Jordan unions. I'm still hurt about yesterday taking L's on the union, so... Me as well. I'm going to get them. <laughs> Y'all already know. Your boy going to have them unions soon, but if you could pick one pair of the Jordan 1 unions right now, which colorway are you going for? Hmm. You know me, I'm I'm with the Chicago colorway all day. You gonna go with that colorway I'm, right there? I'm Chicago all day. This, see, I'm going with the storm blue colorway. This right here is just that that blue and red. I'm just I'm real biased when it comes to like blue and red. So like even with like the Spider Man, this is the only Jordan one that I have in a vault that I doubled up on, and. They had like a special event when um, the Spider-Man, uh, not necessarily the cartoon, but like the animated Spider-Man Miles Morales movie dropped in 2018. You had access on a sneakers app. I got access. Boom. Got a pair for retail and I ended up doubling up. I want to say I paid 500 for my double up. But now these going like 750 right now. So if I want to sell a double up, that's a $250 profit right there. Jordan 1 craze is just, man. And that even go with the unions. I paid maybe seven hundred for those, and I want to say I paid like six fifty for these. And these going like fifteen hundred, and these going about fifteen hundred too. So they they double their price even after I paid resale for them. So that's just a Jordan One game right now as it is. Yeah, this, this Jordan One craze is just something else. You can't get your hands on them. At least not for retail. It's tough because like even the bio hacks. How you feel about the bio hacks? Uh, I'm feeling them. I'm feeling them. It grew on me. You uh -huh. know, all the colors. I'm like, at first I was like, oh, that's too many colors. But now I'm like, it'd probably go with pretty much everything you can pick out your closet to wear with. Because you got so many different colors probably in your wardrobe. And that shoe got plenty of colors to match up with it. All right, so y'all already know what family this is right here. Jordan 1 Shatter Backboards. How you feel about the Shatter Backboards? Is it hype or are these dope? You know what? The middle one might have been a lot of hype, but the other two I'm, I'm I can rock with. I just don't this sole right here. I'm not really feeling it, mm -hmm. but the other two I, I can really I can really rock with those. So if you can pick one out of the three, which shadow back boy are you going with? This one right. The here. OGs. The OG. 
OG. Yes, it's indeed. always OG. I tell y'all, when it's when it comes to the vault, it's OG over anything, and I 100 percent agree. Now, when it comes to the prices of these shadow backboards, DS, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, depending on the size. These right now, anywhere between three to three fifty, and these right now, these creeped up to a thousand dollars as well. I had two of these when these first came out, and I sold one pair for two twenty, and I kept the other one. Wow. So two twenty, that's what eight hundred dollar profit I could have had if I would have just kept them. So what you grabbing right here? Look like you grabbing the Jordan 1 not for resales. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. And, and the thing about the not for resales is I feel like this was probably the most troll release Jordan brand could have ever put out, especially with Jordan 1s. And this is around the time that Jordan 1 hype just, you know, got crazy, like around that 2018 time. Mm -hmm. Just look at the leather quality on these joints. Yeah, they... Leather quality is insane. Sick. Insane. Now, believe it or not, the yellow pair is going way more than the red pair. Yellow pair is going about two grand right now. Wow. Got these for retail. Got these for retail. Again, shout out to my boy Soul Proprietors for that. I still like the red pair better, but it's just something about this yellow pair because the yellow pair was way more limited. But they had the, you know, no photos and crease me. You know, a lot of people don't want to crease up their retro ones. And a lot of people always want to take photos. So that's why I had to no photos. And of course, not for resale. Everybody know that these joints sold for resale. So it's like a huge troll shoe that Jordan brand had put out. Go ahead and pick three Jordan ones that you currently don't have in your collection that you just like, man, I need those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ain't I mad at you for I, that. I, I, I wouldn't mind a pair of these right here. The off white you in my collection, yes indeed. See the thing is when those came out, I think I hit five pairs of those. Two on sneakers app, three of them at the Jordan store downtown. And at that time they was only going for about like seven hundred, seven fifty. I moved all of them. Now those were eighteen hundred, twenty one hundred bucks right now. Yeah, I would like to get my hands on some of these obsidian joints. Ooh, yeah. I wish I kept every pair of those that I had, including grade school. I told people that that was the shoe of the year last year, and I was not lying. That was a Jordan 1 of last year. That that obsidian Jordan 1 was just on a whole different level. Yeah, this, this is a beautiful shoe. A beautiful shoe. That's from the... Uh, the new beginners pack that came came out earlier this year with the airships. Okay, so what's the last shoe that you will pick? It's it's between these. Uh huh. The new beginners and these and the Royal toes. It's between these two. It's between these two. Why the new beginners? This red and white is just so crispy. I mean, crispy. <laughs> if, if I was a pick, like, I like how they did with, like, the New Beginners. Because, in a sense, they wanted to bring back the higher cut with the OG. Now, I'm hoping that they eventually continue this trend and give us some. And, like, we have the reverse breads, but I want the OG breads. You know what I'm saying? We need more of the Jordan 1s that actually come out like that. I can see them doing the Royals like this. I can see them doing a the brass like this, shadows like this, etc. Jordan Brand, we need y'all to continue the new beginners or the high 85 cut on all of the OG Jordans that y'all plan on bringing out again. Especially for us old schoolers. Bring Why them you say back. That? Bring them back. They need to bring back that price too. 80, 80 bucks, 90 bucks, how it was in the 80s. I mean, a grade school shoe right now is going more than $80 now. Tyler shoes, like a shoe for my daughter is $80. That was the price of a men's shoe back in 84. Right. That's crazy. If you guys think of that, that's crazy. Now, a couple of mine, like, I love Jordan 1s. I'm not the biggest Jordan 1 fan, but as you can see, you got I got more Jordan 1s than anything. <laughs> anything. So you can't tell he's not I'm a not, Jordan fan. I, I, I love Jordan 1s on the sense of... The nostalgia behind the Jordan 1s, and because Jordan 1s now, as far as production goes, no other shoe has the amount of production as far as Jordan 1s, meaning that Jordan 1s have the least production out of every other Air Jordan that's in this room. So it's hard to get your hands on Jordan 1s. Like, I like stuff like this. You know, the Jordan 1 Soul Flies. 
you know, stuff that people can't really get their hands on. Beautiful shoe. I like the friends and family pair that was the patent leathers. Like these, you pulled out the UNC's, I'm going to have to go with the Chicago Off-Whites. Just as far as that classic OG color with a little twist that, you know, the younger generation like to rock and wear. So I could dig it. Now, something like this, I wasn't a big fan of the Turbo Greens at first. I'm still not. You still not a fan I'm of these? Not Why not? The color, I just can't. I, I just can't get with that color. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, uh, what's that, like an aqua green? Yeah. Yeah. These shooting up in price. Turbo Green's about like five, six hundred dollars on the market right now. So, we got other, we got other Air Jordans in here as well. Like, we got the Jordan 1, LA to Chicago's, the Jordan Nike SB collab, a big, big collab that a lot of people was actually rocking with. And, um, I had the Paris to New York joints. And wasn't feeling those. Those was the gray and pink ones that they had, and you know it removes oh, okay. the color on right, them. Right. I wasn't feeling those. I should have kept all my pairs of the LA to Chicago's. I I messed up one pair in a video a while ago. Uh, for those who've been with the army, y'all seen that I took the paint off of those. But is there any other Jordan ones? I know it's a lot of Jordan ones in here that we haven't even touched. One more Jordan one that I wanted to get back when it came out. What's that? The gold toes, but this yes. is this pair right here is the complex exclusive. This is the top three. The gold toes just had both shoes with the gold toes, but the complex exclusive joint had one with the white toe, one with the gold toe. Unbreakable Army. Any one of these would have worked. <laughs> any one of these would have worked. If I could have got my hands on any one of these, I'd have been good. Yeah, price on them starting to shoot up too. On them gold toes. I don't know. Like, I've never really been a fan yeah. of Jordan ones with patent leather on them. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I I get them though. Like they got another one. I like them too. They got another one that's coming out later on this year. That's you know got the same kind of colorway as the uh, gold toes. But Jordan ones with patent leather, they start to grow on me. Like I said back in the day, I wasn't feeling any Jordan one with patent leather on. I feel like. Patent leather just need to be on retro 11s and that's it. What about like Travis Scott's? Like I got on an OG highs on feet right now, but what you feel about like the lows? Was you feeling these? I feel like the, the if they did the low colorway as a high, those would have been better than the the high, the, than the high colorway. No, I'm not really big on the, the, the Jordan 1 low really. Mm -hmm. Neither am I. I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 1 low. I like to keep it the way it came out in the beginning, high top, as we call it, high top. Well, I see you got the tight eyes on hand, and we talked about the snake skin. How do you feel about women's exclusive Jordans? Do you think that men shouldn't rock them, or do you think that, man, if I like that shoe, I'm putting it on foot? Well, if, if I like it, I'm wearing it. I don't care what you say, what you think. <laughs> if I like it, I'm wearing it. I feel women's it. exclusive, I'm wearing it. First, I wasn't feeling it, but it grew on me, and uh, I actually, I actually, I rock with them. I rock with them. When it comes to Air George, let's just say, for instance, if I can't get you a retro, and you try your own, do you have any luck on like Sneakers app? Well, I didn't get lucky twice on Sneakers app. Mm -hmm. When I popped them for these, I was able to get these. What are they? The two point oh, yep, core purple two point oh, two point oh's, and I actually ended up. Getting lucky and hitting on the uh, the zooms, the, the race of blue, race of blue zooms. I like them as just as well. But uh, so yeah, you got the two point in hand. Here's the one point Which one you rocking with more? One point or the two point uh, I'm I, I call it a tie. You call it a tie? I call it a tie. I, Army, I in the like, comment section, let us know. 1.0s or 2.0s for the core purpose. I, I, I feel like I can't go wrong with either one. Mm -hmm. I can't go wrong with either one. This one, I, I can't wait to when the weather change and I get to throw on my unbreakable hoodie. I can rock with this one right oh, here. Oh, yeah. See, I forgot the hoodie would rock with that. It yes, would go indeed. with that. I'm going to rock my unbreakable hoodie with these. Okay. I wanted to pull out something that, you know, Sleeper. This shoe came out like 2017 set. It's set. It's set. 
Now this was like a $500 shoe. And this is an OG colorway. And I was just, at that time, I feel like a lot of people wasn't on an OG train when it came to retro ones. A lot of people wasn't. But this right here, the reason why I want to show you this one, the Jordan 1 Fragment, is because they got a pair of Jordan 3 Fragments that are coming out right now. And the Fragments have started to go up crazy. This is probably like one of the first Jordan 1s that I paid a crazy amount. I want to say I probably paid like $1,500 for these three years ago. This shoe is $3,000 to $3,500 right now. So for a lot of people who be like, shoes aren't an investment, stop spending all your money on shoes, shut it up. Because three years ago I paid $1,500. Now I could, if I want to sell it, I can get an additional $2,000 for this shoe right here. And the fragments are just beautiful. Just a beautiful Air Jordan 1. This right here started the hype. To me, it started the hype for Air Jordan 1s. After the fragments came out, I feel like everybody wanted these because these was a Nike exclusive. Nike exclusive. A lot of people took L's on them. And then after these, you got the Jordan 1 Chicago's. Then we got the Shadows. Then we got the Royals again. So this right here, to me, started, started the Air Jordan 1 hype right here. All right, so 2020 is pretty much almost over. It's been a lot of Jordan 1s. Has it been any Jordan 1s that you missed out on that you just like, man, I need to get them back? Well, I got the race of zooms mm -hmm. earlier, and I've been wanting to get the green and black zooms. The rainy zooms. greens. Yeah, so I still got them on my radar. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get the both of these uh, bio hacks. Hopefully, uh, my son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bio hacks is definitely gonna be crazy. I'm hoping that I can wind up copping a pair of them joints for retail as well. But other than the zones, other than biohacks, anything over here that you missed out on in 2020 that you just like, man, you know, I wish I would have got those when I could have. I actually wouldn't have mind being able to cop these. The Tokyos. These, these are clean. These are clean. And then they got the Navy joints that's coming out at the end of the year as well. Oh, yeah? Yep. I ain't, I ain't even seen pictures of that yet. Yeah, those, those, I like the so, Navy joints way better than I like. Once you see the pictures of the Navys, you probably going to be like, yeah, man, I ain't even thinking about them Tokyos no more. So we got Tokyos. Was there any other one that you missed out on? I was blessed by my son-in-law to get a pair of these clean boys. The small gray joints? Yeah. I haven't got a chance to rock them just yet. But, uh, nice. <laughs> mm. All right, Army. So we went over pretty much all of the Air Jordan 1s that I got in the vault. Let us know in the comment section down below which Air Jordan 1s that we showed you guys today was your favorite. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. The father-in-law. You got the Unbreakable vault. Unbreakable Army. Stand strong like always. Hug your loved ones. And we out. <laughs> <laughs>